I'm Ryan Vanderplatz, and I'm Product Manager for Management Information Systems with Trimble Solutions. So we're going to take a look at our production control import enhancements. So on production control imports, um, we now support the, the rena renaming of parts based on GUID matches in that XML file. And this allows us to track changes um, and update information. And it allows us to keep our links to any purchase orders or requisitions that we might already have issued and any cut lists that we have. And it also keeps that production tracking information. So there's no more um, going into the system and having to back out changes uh, or revisions to your members. Um, also, we've improved our, our test import option now, and it simulates the entire import process. Previously, it, it stopped short before you got to the translations of shapes in the system. So this is going to be a, a much better way for people to see what an import is going to do um, rather than having to run it all the way through. And it, the focus of these changes allow us to have greater control in change management. As we look at our production control import enhancements, we want to keep in mind that the, the new GUID method of importing an XML file uh, better helps us not only track the changes that happen um, when we bring in a new IFC file, but it also uh, makes those changes regardless of this, where the status of the material is on the shop floor. So in this case, we're going to take a look at a project, and we're actually going to import an XML file that deletes this area of the project and see how that changes. So in order to save time, I've already imported this project, and here's the resulting file. So as it wrote items, it saw that on assembly 55, um, that we've changed the quantity from two to one. So it actually changed the quantity. One of these items remained the same while the other was deleted. It updated B461, and it actually changed some of the parts on B98, on C5, and on C11. And additionally, it brought us through to this warning, and it told us that a whole bunch of these items here, or these assemblies, have been deleted, and it told us to, to go into the system and verify that they're actually deleted. So any tracking information, whether it's production tracking or purchasing information, that we had on these uh, on these pieces, even though the the parts may have changed on there, or the parts names may have changed, it kept that tracking information in the system. Additionally, for our production control import enhancements, uh, when we do go to do a file import of an XML file, if we do the test import, it now runs through the entire protocol as it would. Um, if we were actually doing the job. So previously it only ran a partial. Um, here it's going to actually pop up this translation screen, which it didn't before. So it's going to show you all the material within that particular production control job um, that you're importing that may not match what you have in your EPM database, making this a much more useful feature.